What if John Cena turned heel in 2011? And welcome back guys and this is Mike Rato and for today we're going to talk about what if John Cena turned heel in 2011. In this what if, in this timeline, it's gonna start during the summer of punk. I know it's strange that I'm going to do a John Cena heel turn in 2011 even though he is the biggest face of the WWE but we can't ignore the boos and all of the negative crowd reaction that are occurring in the arena actually the same storyline goes CM Punk leave kayfably the WWE and just like in real life Rey Mysterio wins the WWE Championship. But after that match, when John Cena was congratulating Rey Mysterio, in this timeline, John Cena shakes his hand, and then he's gonna say to Rey Mysterio that I'm coming back for my title at SummerSlam. And then, that's the final thing of that night. Which in that said night, the last match I think for this what if is Rey Mysterio versus The Miz for the WWE title. Rey Mysterio wins, he goes and celebrate backstage and also to the crowd. And then that segment happens. After that segment, we're going to the next week. Actually, we will see John Cena calling on the telephone and actually being more mysterious than ever. He is not acting the same. Even though he's acting like his normal self, but there is something strange that you will see in him. So at SummerSlam, while well, the match was made official, also by Triple H, because he is a babyface COO and he will do matches. Because he wants to do things for ratings, you know. So that said match happens, John Cena wins in that match. You will see an aggression in him, but the heel character is not being shown that much yet. But there's cracks in his character. He wins that match, and then Rey Mysterio also gets injured just like in real life and then misses a year in the WWE. John Cena wins that match. After that match, you will hear the cult of personality playing. CM Punk returns and then a stir off to end SummerSlam. You're asking, why did I delay CM Punk's return in this timeline? Well, for CM Punk, he will actually gain massive media mainstream. He will be put into interviews, putting him as the WWE champion by labeling him like that. What is it? His opinion about WWE crowning Rey Mysterio as the WWE Champion and John Cena actually challenging Mysterio. Would that his agenda will be going back to normal if Cena wins at SummerSlam? Like that type of interviews which Punk actually answered with his own amazing type of promo thing. Actually sending a message to the WWE during the time that he's actually having a time off. So from Money in the Bank. To SummerSlam, he has this time off and he returns at the main event of SummerSlam and having this stare off with John Cena. So Rey Mysterio will be gone for a year, just like in real life. And Del Rio is not cashing in his Money in the Bank briefcase yet. And John Cena vs CM Punk match happens at Night of Champions. I know it seems like it. I'm rushing it here, but the title says it all. It's about championships, the Night of Champions pay-per-view. Even though the pay-per-view is a minor pay-per-view, well, it kind of have the significance of being a champion, and that's that promo will be more on favor with. So they will actually focus on the Night of Champions meaning they will have this promo to actually promote their match, their second match with each other for the championship. 
So Cena versus Punk happens. Punk wins the match. Triple H is the referee. So Cena is angry at that result. After that match, Cena actually wakes up from the canvas from the ring. From the outside of the ring, gets the title, his version of the title. And then when Punk is celebrating, wax Punk with the title. And then you will hear Alberto Del Rio's music. Del Rio cashes in. And then at the next night of Raw, Cena comes out and he actually stares at the audience. He doesn't say a word, but he actually have this demeanor that he actually changed from his body language to his facial expressions. So Cena is staring in the ring, Triple H comes out. Sia Punk comes out. They have a promo with each other. Triple H asking Cena what he did at SummerSlam. Punk asking Cena what he did at SummerSlam. Cena pointing out to Triple H that he does not like CM Punk. And then CM Punk actually cuts a promo to Cena and Triple H. They have a triple promo with each other. Focusing on what they dislike with each other. And then Cena actually goes out from the ring. And then Triple H is talking to CM Punk. Punk got his back turned against Cena. Cena assaults Punk. And then to elevate his heel turn. So Cena tries to attack Punk that aggressively but Triple H stops John Cena just like an authority figure he gets security to give John Cena out of the arena but John Cena actually ate a punk during that time so Del Rio for this time is the WWE champion well I know that it's strange that even though he's the champion he's not the main focus of the storyline he will be just wait so these two actually have a match with each other on the next episode of Raw. They have this huge match and then Del Rio actually watching at ringside. It's actually for the number one contendership for the WWE title. The match ended in a draw. With Cena actually being more obsessed more than ever because he could not defeat so the match happens a triple threat match at the next pay-per-view and then the Rio retains because the Rio pins CM Punk after a super F feud by John Cena super AA and then yeah the Rio actually have a rivalry now with CM Punk and then Triple H asking John Cena his new aggression and then Cena hitting Triple H with something. So I will put a one month rivalry between Punk and Del Rio. And he will go back to Cena after that. So they will have this mini feud with each other. So Punk actually beats Del Rio at this time. We won't have a Del Rio longer reign. Because the main focus of the storyline is John Cena at this time. So Punk wins the title. John Cena challenges him. And then at the time, the next pay-per-view again, Cena wins via decisively pure aggression. So actually John Cena also low blowed Cena Punk during that match to win the title. So, Punk this time is actually more curious about this John Cena side. He never seen the side of John Cena before. Cena is the champion and then they have the rivalry with each other. So they will continue the rivalry. As for Del Rio, well he is going to get back his momentum. 
by going into the mid card scene and then proving himself again. So even though I made something that focuses on Si Ampong versus John Cena rivalry, it's also to elevate John Cena's status as the champion. But before Survivors, but actually on the Survivor Series pay-per-view, or before that, Cena will drop the title to CM Punk, so that Punk can actually have his 434 title reign. And then The Rock actually returns on Survivor Series also in the main event, actually cutting a promo, and he has someone that is actually he is mentioning and that's John Cena it's either an episode of Raw or probably on Survivor Series so after that punk match The Rock cuts a promo to John Cena and asking what happened to you what happened to the guy who is the fruity Prebles and a lot of stuff that The Rock actually insulted Cena with Cena ain't having it perform an AA to The Rock so yeah The Rock did not also compete at Survivor Series 2011 so that people will actually have something on their mind can The Rock wrestle just like what how he wrestled before can he perform the curiosity of the people coming to WrestleMania 28 so instead of having heels fighting John Cena during this timeline, we will have baby faces coming to Raw. Randy Orton actually have a mini feud with John Cena, and also some baby face mid guards, just to fill up his time till WrestleMania. Also, Cena does not fight Kane here because he actually embraced the hate. So there's no point of the Embrace the Hate storyline here. Instead, John Cena will feud with baby faces before WrestleMania. And during the WrestleMania season, John Cena and The Rock actually build their feud, their rivalry with each other, performing promos, stating Cena stating that The Rock calls him calls this his home but he actually left his home when he come back like the type of promos what he did in 2012 he actually goes with this word life gimmick and actually this scene uh, has a new remix on his theme song beforehand after his heel turn a some time of remix with his theme song or a brand new theme song which John Cena has a different gimmick. Why? Also, guys, a good thing also is that when Cena turned heel, it will be a good thing for The Rock because it is on his hometown, which the people will support him and they will boo Cena no matter what because he's the hometown hero and he is The Rock. So, people will support him. So when they have their rivalry, well, the people won't have any struggles to who they will support with. And with this new aggression of John Cena, kids are booing him with all of their heart. Even though Smarks are now cheering for him because of this new character, this new aggression that they never see from him before. So by now, CM Punk is actually feuding with Chris Jericho. So why did I mention that? That's because the WWE Championship is defended in pay-per-views. And also, Punk will actually main event pay-per-views that John Cena is actually the co-main event of the pay-per-views. We will give a shine to the WWE Champion. But for WrestleMania, the main event is Cena vs The Rock. Because that's the thing that the WWE promoted in the past year. In the whole year of 2011 to 2012. 
that match actually goes just like the way it is. Cena actually losing and becomes more obsessed. Obsessed than ever. And then in the next night, he will try to recruit new guys to join him. Heelish dudes in the roster. He will be more obsessed because A. He doesn't regain his WWE Championship and B. He didn't defeat The Rock at WrestleMania. So the obsession for him is more larger than ever. And even though he will challenge Punk in the pay-per-views on 2012, unfortunately for him, the 434 title reign continues for CM Punk. I know it kind of buries his character, but he doesn't need the WWE Championship that much. So instead, John Cena will go for the World Heavyweight Championship, which was held by Sheamus at this time. And during his first match, he destroyed Sheamus, the guy who actually beat him for the WWE Championship way back in 2009. So Cena destroyed Sheamus with his new group and he will actually be the champion for the whole 2012 to 2013 and he will not drop the title. So Cena versus The Rock will be going for the World Heavyweight Championship. So Big Show's title reigns and the real title reigns never happened with this timeline because John Cena destroyed Sheamus during his title reign. So John Cena will help for the title. Big Show, a babyface, will try to challenge John Cena. He will fail. Del Rio who turned face, he will fail. Dolph Ziggler, he will fail. A lot of people will try to challenge him but he, they will fail. Even Randy Orton, he will also fail. So at WrestleMania, John Cena beats The Rock. And they are not the main event at this time. Instead, CM Punk vs The Undertaker main events WrestleMania. Streak vs title. And for that WrestleMania alone, well, we can do two scenarios for CM Punk vs The Undertaker. And the scenario one is actually Punk retaining his title against The Streak or Undertaker's having the streak intact but he will lose the title on the next very pay-per-view to a credible heel because Punk has actually had the title at this time for 500 days because he never dropped the title to The Rock at the Royal Rumble I think by this time it is 504, 505 or 510 so forgive me if I don't know the exact number by WrestleMania to WrestleMania 29 to Survivor Series 2011. And actually in his half of his reign, he turned heel. So John Cena is the, ter is the heel on SmackDown and CM Punk is actually the biggest heel on Raw. And even though the WWE actually struggles to have baby faces at this moment, well, they will build stars, they will promote Ryback more, they will actually have more baby faces on Raw and SmackDown. They will build stars to be the biggest baby faces of this time. Even new talents will try to challenge for their titles, but they are just unbeatable as the biggest heels. Because why did I turn CM Punk heel? Well, it's not to make his title reign stale and as for John Cena his heel turn well it is amazing that it actually has a two-year straight of being a heel and to think that he actually got the world heavyweight championship and which in his mind is better than the WWE championship and he was actually obsessed of being the champion and beating The Rock. So he did that at WrestleMania 29. He beat The Rock, he retained his title, but the next next two pay-per-views, there will be a new babyface 
who will beat him for the title and then Cena will have his time off for the time being because he actually worked for two years straight and I think he actually got injured in 2013 so he will have his time off just to heal all of his injuries if he has an injury also in this timeline so that will be the John Cena storyline so the heel storyline actually the summary of this heel storyline actually comes to his obsession with the WWE Championship his obsession to beat CM Punk which he actually failed on his few attempts but he did it but he actually dropped the title again to Punk which adds to his frustration so he moved to SmackDown to win their biggest title which is the World Heavyweight Championship because he wanted so bad to be the champion that he drafted himself to SmackDown by the authority he doesn't care if Vince McMahon Triple H are in charge he wants to be the champion that's why he threatened the company that if he does not win the World Every Championship while he is going to another company so that that's why the WWE and this timeline drafted in the SmackDown if he can beat CM Punk and he destroyed Sheamus during their first encounter for the World Heavyweight Championship so after that he beats The Rock his obsession before he actually got a long title reign as a heel and then just like in real life he will get injured and then after that injury which he will be gone he will return now as a baby face with his same persona but it is more of an edgy soldier type of John Cena and not in a heelish way it can be probably a mixture of his word life gimmick and his shoulder soldier gimmick or whatever the WWE wants him to do because he sucks he has good success as a heel and he actually help and promote his WrestleMania match with the rock with two icons and not being babyface versus babyface and people are actually invested in his new character with his heel character shining through and people in events marks are cheering for him because of his performances and his promos as a heel did you enjoy this video and i hope you did like this video subscribe now and comment down below do you like heel john cena in this timeline or do you prefer the same storyline just like in real life where they actually get booed on wrestlemania 29 when they have their moment on the stage or did you like hill john cena beating the rock and having all of his obsessions over and finished so thank you for watching and i hope you enjoyed this video this is mike rato and peace subscribe again for more videos like my videos and comment on below